Okay, so this is Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit. This is the legacy version, which is based on Buster. Uh, in light of all the problems that has been happening with Bullseye, uh, this is what's come out. Uh, and if you have a look at Tom's hardware, this is where I found out about this. Uh, so Raspberry Pi releases legacy OS to target Bullseye problems. A new old version of its operating system, and you see legacy OS sticks to version 5.10. Uh, and if we go into Raspberry Pi Imager, which I've just installed, you can see it's listed in here. So if I go to Choose OS, uh, it still defaults to this one and comes up as recommended, uh, the version Bullseye. Um, but if you click on Raspberry Pi OS Other, you can see Bullseye, Bullseye, and then if you scroll down, there's two legacy versions, so a light version and a 1.1 gig version. So you don't get loads of apps and things in the 1 gig version, uh, but it's there for compatibility. Um, so it's there to work with mostly things like GPIO pins, cameras, things like that that have had the problems. I've had a few problems with it. I've only been running it, I don't know, probably 30 minutes or so. I changed the size of my desktop icons and uh, it uh, it reverted back to the smaller size. So I was like them to be bigger and it reverted back. But as you can see, the opacity in the bar is still there. And I've been able to change all the colors on the temperature and add the temperature to the bar. And if we go into NeoFetch... You can see I've overclocked to 2.2 gigahertz and Raspbian Buster. Now if I close this down and go back to the web browser, because uh, I've also had another uh, strange thing that's happened to this, and I haven't had this with Raspberry Pi OS. And I've come out of screen capture just to show you what happened. So if I go into history, uh, I was playing a YouTube clip just now because I figured I'd have a look and see what the YouTube playback was like. Let's plug this cable in so I get some... Oh, has it done it already? Yeah, and it restarts the OS. Um, so at the moment, YouTube for me, uh, well, when it was normally doing it, it was when I selected 1080 as uh, a resolution. So whether or not... I wonder if that's picked 1080 as a resolution. and It doesn't seem to like 1080. Right, so let's let it start again. Let's call that up, but I'll play it in a lower resolution if it'll give me a chance to change it. So if we do restore, but then pause it maybe. Yeah, so if I go to settings in here. Yeah, so it's on 480 now. So let's just see if it plays in 480 because it was, oh, there you go. For some reason it's restarting and it's not overheating. Uh, I always run this overclock uh, and it's it's never generally a problem. Uh, I'm wondering if there's things I can change. I'm just going to, well, I'll tell you what, let's take the overclock off uh, to put it back to as it was when it was newly installed. But I can't imagine that is the problem. So Control X and yes to save that and reboot. And let's go back into Chromium and let's restore that video and hit play. <laughs> Just mute that. So let's see, because it was going up to 1080 that was making it crash before. Okay, seems to be playing now, albeit badly. Oh, it's really taking its time. Let's go full screen. Yeah, really taking its time. Screen's gone black. And I've cut out some bits because uh, I was waiting quite a while for it to get to this stage. <laughs> I don't know what's happening there. Uh, it's still not playing. Just pick the space bar and space bar again. No, let's quit out of that. I don't know what that's doing. Let's search for it manually rather than restore it. But it's not it's not crashing now at 1080. Okay, let's search for that again. Let's search for that video again. Okay, it's still not playing well. I'm wondering if it's to do with the config.txt. So when I looked at the config.txt when I overclocked, and bearing in mind I haven't changed anything um, but the overclock setting. So the only thing I've changed uh, is adding those overclocks. In fact, there's no overclock at the moment, so nothing's changed. Um, but if I go down to the bottom, 
You see this, enabled is DT overlay fake KMS driver. But down here, hashed out is also the fake KMS driver. And I'm wondering that's supposed to be KMS. So I'm going to get rid of that and save that. And then reboot. Okay, let's try again. It's still running slow. There's still definitely something wrong there. So that's on 1080, which was crashing it before. Let's go right up to 4K and just see if it gets it to crash the system. It does seem to be not, at least it's not crashing now the overclock is on. And it's trying to play that. But obviously it's, you know, 4K, 4K videos it's not going to be able to play. Uh, let's just drop it down to 720, which we shouldn't have to, but... Yeah. Yeah, not great. Um, so I would say at the moment you're still better off. Uh, so if we go, uh, actually go back into YouTube, and I had the downloads link in uh, for the older version of Buster, which is definitely better still. So it was on a recent Pi News, uh, not the most recent one, uh, the green one here. It will be the last one that was blue. So videos, and yeah, this one here. So if I scroll down in the description, uh, I put a link for the older downloads. How to download Raspberry Pi Buster with Bullseye. Yeah, here we are. And scroll down to Raspberry Pi OS Arm HF and images. And here we've got the uh, 28th of May version. This is the last known good version of Raspberry Pi OS Buster. Uh, and that's the one I'll be still using. It's the one I've been using in all my uh, recent Raspberry Pi. 02w videos and it just it runs really well uh, I've got no complaints with it and you can write that image with Raspberry Pi Imager uh, and you just do it as a custom image so choose OS go down to the bottom use custom and then obviously if you've downloaded it it will be in your downloads folder and you can just write that to your SSD uh, your USB stick or your SD card but uh, so at the moment it is that version from May which I'd still be using. Uh, it's not quite there with the legacy one. I like what they've done. I like the idea of it. But uh, it still seems to be a bit problematic for some reason. Anyway, I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.